Today I am going to be doing some planner paper clips DIY. I decided that I wanted to just make a lot for myself all at one time just so that when I'm doing my spreads that I have really cute paper clips available. So I'm just going to kind of run through and show you what I currently have. So these are some of the ones that have the ribbon detail in them and I used a couple of different ribbons and this this DIY is up on my channel so I will link it down below but otherwise I'm just showing you what I currently have but if you do want to see exactly how I made this then go check that video out and this one has like a baby pink and gold theme and then this one is really really cute it's one of my favorites it has like this fun hot pink tool and I made this cute little bow and then I put a Dollar Tree sticker on top this tray, in case you're wondering, is from Daiso. It's like a Japanese Dollar Tree, but everything ends up being about $1.50 in US currency. Then I have this little box filled with some paperclip goodies that I've done also, and this box is very vintage, shabby chic from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so a lot of these paper clips right here are simply hair ties that I have purchased from the 99 cent store or the Dollar Tree, and I just clipped off the little rubber band hair tie part. These are also in my dollar um, planner paperclip DIY that I've done previously. This is a bow from Walmart. Here's another white one. Here is a gold one. And then I have these. They're the little paper bows, and I got those at Michael's, but I made the paper clips myself, also going to be in that video. Here's another white one. And then I have these, which are gorgeous. They're from the Dollar Tree. Also made it myself, so go check out that video. This is one from the Dollar Tree. It used to be a sticker, like a little foamy sticker, so I just turned it into a paper clip. Here's one of my favorites. I use this on my Wonder Woman spread, and it's just simply two foam star stickers stuck together between a red paper clip. These are from a Michaels um, card. I just simply cut out the little perfume bottles and laminated them and turned them into cute little perfume bottle paper clips. And this one has a little fuzzy pom-pom, which is really cute. I, I'm currently using the blue pom-pom in my Rainbow Bright spread, so if you want to go check out that spread, I will link it down below for you. But the blue pom-pom is really cute. And then here are these, they're very shabby chic and also from the Dollar Tree, which is amazing because you really wouldn't think that you could get something so cute from the Dollar Tree, but you can. And I'm hoping that my channel is really proving that because I'm all about Dollar Tree and Dollar Tree DIYs. So that's kind of my current collection. I probably have some that are here and there, um, but that's what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to be making some more planner paper clips and the reason why is because the ones on Etsy as gorgeous as they are and I will be probably ordering some in the future um, but as gorgeous as they are they can be really pricey just for one paper clip so I really just like to you know make a lot of my own stuff so I am actually going to be making my own paper clips out of some images that I have found on Google um, I will share with you how to do that so basically what I ended up doing was I went onto my computer and I went to Google and you can just type in like Tumblr images or you can type in um, just whatever you're looking for, whether it's perfume bottle and just say perfume bottle images and or like PNG. But I also like to look for anything that's transparent so that there's not like an image in the background. You want it to just be pasted onto your Word document without like any background because you are going to try to cut as closely to the image as possible. Once you find the image that you like, you simply just want to, you, you can either copy and paste it straight from Google or you can save it into your downloads or a folder that you have on your desktop. And from there you can drag and drop into your Word document. Then once you have that all down on your Word document and you have them sized the way that you want, you would just simply then print them out and they would be ready to be cut out. Once you have your images, the next thing that you want to consider is how you are going to 
cover them. If you're going to cover them at all, you don't have to, but if you don't cover them, you're going to have to be really delicate with them because they will wear and tear a lot easier because it is paper. Even if you apply it to cardstock, which is what we're going to do here today, you do want to cover them. So I'm going to give you some um, choices in case you don't have a laminator. But obviously the first choice and the best choice in my opinion would be using a laminator. Now I use the Scotch laminator and I got all of this at Walmart. It's fairly cheap. It's $19.99 I think. And then you can get the laminating pouches. So I have an 8.5 by 11. I also have a 5 by 7 which is what I'm going to use today so that, um, you know, because my my images aren't that big, so I will try to fit as many images into one sheet as possible and then run them through the laminator. So another option, in case you don't have a laminator, are self-laminating sheets. Now they do sell these at the Dollar Tree, and this is one that is from the Dollar Tree, but I will say I haven't seen these at my Dollar Trees in a while. So if your Dollar Trees don't have them, they do have self-laminating sheets at Walmart, meaning you don't need a laminator to do it. So I'm gonna show you an example of that in this video today. So if you do decide to get self-laminating sheets, you know how to do them. But this one is like four, four by six, it's like a photo size, and you get five sheets, but you could put multiple um, you could fit multiple images in there and get as much of the sheet as possible. A third option would actually be this clear transparent paper right here. Now, I'm sorry about the shadow. I really don't know what it's doing, but I hauled this from the Dollar Tree quite a while ago and I knew that I wanted to use it for planner DIY. So that is what I have been saving this for. So if you go to the Dollar Tree, they should have this in like the housewares kitchen aisle. So I'm gonna show you how to use this option too. Okay, I have some images that I've cut up and applied to cardstock. The heart is double-sided just because it was really easy. And a lot of these are just blank on the back, which is fine. But this one's also double-sided, which is really cute. And this one, the little macaroons. The perfume is not. Now I am going to use the self-laminating card option. And this is the sticky side right here, so you want to lay 
them like this and you don't want them to be too close. Remove the strip. So now I am going to use my hands. You want to seal as closely as you can around the image. You want to like close any, get rid of any air bubbles. I think it's called like a score or something. It's like a scoring tool and it helps to like get rid of all these lines. If you don't have one of these, you can just use like the edge of your scissors like this. The purpose to laminating is to give it a long extra life. You know, if you leave it, again, like I said earlier, with the paper, then it's gonna bend and wear and tear and get dirty. Now that we've done a self-laminating pouch, um, scenario, let's go ahead and do a clear transparent. I'm just going to cut some off because this keeps rolling. So I've got my shape here and now what I'm going to do is I peeled this back but I'm going to go ahead and peel it forward again so that the image sticks to it. cut this and what's great about this contact paper this transparent paper is that you can cut directly outside of the image line and now we are going to do the back as well so we're just going to basically repeat that process and we're going to flip the image this way and, and now we're going to cut this there we go it's just like the laminator I will say that the laminator is going to be sh way stronger than this because this could end up peeling because it doesn't seal um, against itself but it's still a great option to get something if you can't get your hands on laminating sheets Okay, so I am done embellishing some of them. I didn't want to do all of them, but let's go ahead and take a look. The macaroons turned out really cute. I like that my, I had the rhinestones to match. 
and then the big rhinestone to kind of cover up the hot glue. So that's really cute. And this one I love. It's so cute and princess-like. Little ribbon, little rhinestone, and the rhinestone on the back again. And then I just kind of left the camera as is. So really cute and simple. And then here's just different variations of the diamonds. This one's covered in the Dollar Tree uh, clear transparent tape. What is it called? Yeah, it's just like a cover and it has the rhinestone in the middle with a white paper clip. And then this one is the self-laminating sheet with a pink paper clip. And then the cameras, I just left them the way they are. I did the same thing for the little drinks. I thought that they were just cute the way that they were. I mean, I could go back and embellish them more. And the drink and the perfume, I left simple. And then the sneakers, really cute. Because I, I added three little rhinestones there to the front. And then the back has the rhinestone. Slowly but surely, I will be getting, you know, a really nice big paperclip collection. It's just, I mean, the image was free. The laminating sheets I got for a dollar at the Dollar Tree or the transparent, you know, roll, which was also a dollar. And, yeah, I mean, you can't really beat that. I basically had all of this on hand, so everything was free. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!